Hey guys, it's Nia from Nia Knows Hair. In today's video, I'm going to try for the first time a do-it-yourself hair mask using extra virgin olive oil and some pure natural honey. Now, the reason why I'm going to do this hair mask is this week I've really, really neglected my hair and as you can see, <laughs> it's a hot mess right now um, it's really really dry and it feels quite brittle as well I think that's because as well the weather's changed like the weather's just miserable and dull and wet outside so it has affected my hair a little my hair's been really frizzy this week so I've just been like whacking it up in a high puff all week so I think tonight's the night that I'm going to show my hair so I'm loving attention so I'm going to try this mask for the first time so let's see how it goes so the first thing that I need to do is make the concoction. <laughs> so what I've actually got is I've got one of these applicator bottles. I've watched a lot of videos where they um, just pour it into a bowl and then they mix it and then they apply it straight from the bowl. But I don't want any mess, like I don't, I just don't want any mess. So I, thought, I figured if I put it into the applicator bottle, it's gonna make it easier for myself. So let me just try. So I'm gonna start off with my olive oil. And I'm gonna pour a quarter, I'm gonna pour like a quarter amount in here, so. Oops. Yep, so that'll do, a quarter olive oil. And then I'm gonna get my pure, this is pure natural honey. I need to open it up. <laughs> I'm so weak. Mm. Probably would have been easier if I got one of those squeezy bottles, but I wasn't thinking when I got it when I bought it. So I'm just gonna try and pour this in now without making any mess. So another quarter. Oh. Yeah, look, I'm getting it. <laughs> Pathetic. There you go. I'm actually really angry because I've got it everywhere. I'll be back, I'm just gonna wipe up that Okay, so lesson number one of this tutorial is if you're gonna pour the mask, the, the treatment into an applicator bottle, it's probably best if you pour it into a larger measuring jug first and then pour it into the bottle because I just made a right twat out myself then. <laughs> I've got it everywhere. So lesson learned. So anyway, I've got it in here. And as you can see, like the honey is sort of sticking, so it's still quite thick, even though I've um, shaking it. But don't worry about that because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to heat it up in the microwave for about 45 seconds before I actually apply it to my hair. So that's that, that's ready. And all I need to do now is prep my hair and then we can apply the mixture. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before I apply the mixture, I'm going to wet my hair first. Now, it's probably best if you actually wash your hair and get rid of all the other products that you've got in your hair before you do this. But I'd actually washed my hair this morning when I had a shower and then I've actually left my hair product free. So I've got no product in here. It's just dry. That's one of the reasons why it's dry and frizzy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to re-wet it. So I take it a little bubble. Nice and stiff. <laughs> and I'm just gonna re-wet it with my water bottle. I've actually got some Tresemme Naturals conditioner in here because I always have it mixed in my water bottle. So I'm just gonna wet it. In fact, I'm gonna be here forever doing this <laughs> because I've got really thick hair. So I'll come back once it's soaked through. Okay, so my hair's totally wet through now, finished wetting it. And the final part of the preparation before I apply the mixture is I'm gonna separate it into four sections and then I'm just gonna apply my um, Tresemme Vibrant Naturals Conditioner just to give it some extra conditioning before I apply the mask. So let me just do that now. Whilst I was wetting my hair as well, I was finger, finger detangling it to make it a lot easier to handle. So obviously I don't want to apply the mixture when my hair is all knotted. So each, each section, just get my conditioner and just apply it. Working it through with my fingers. 
focusing on the ends as well because the end of your hair, that's where you, you have your dead hair basically, so that's what needs the most attention and the most moisture and conditioner added to it. Now just stick it in a twist. And then do the same for this. Perfect. I'm just wipe my hands. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run downstairs quickly, whack this in the microwave for 45 seconds, and then I'll be back and then finally we, we can apply it. Okay, so I've heated the mixture up now. I did actually only leave it in for 30 seconds in the end because it started to bubble in the microwave, so I figured 45 seconds was too long. I test a little bit in the palm of my hand first to make sure it's not too hot because I don't want to scald my scalp. And then as you can see, all I'm gonna do is section by section, I'm going to apply the mixture, starting at the scalp and then working my way down all the way right to the ends of my hair, paying particular attention to the ends of my hair. And then I'm, get to my Denman brush and I'm just brushing the mixture through to make sure I get an even application. So whilst I'm applying the mixture, let me just talk you through the benefits of this honey and olive oil mask. Now, as mentioned before, one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this mask was because I wanted something that would help to retain moisture. Now, the great thing about honey is that it's a natural humectant, which means it naturally attracts moisture. Now, not only that, honey is an emollient, which means it's a natural softener, which in turn means over time, it's going to improve the condition of your hair follicles, which is crucial for healthy hair growth. Now the reason why the honey is mixed with the olive oil is because as you're aware, honey is really sticky. So I'm using the olive oil as a medium to help spread it around. Now not only that, olive oil is great for a scaly and dry scalp, which I'm prone to, as well as giving your hair a gorgeous shine and leaves your hair feeling soft after continued use. So I've finished applying the mixture now and all I'm going to do is get a shower cap and I'm going to tuck it all under and then I'm going to leave the shower cap on for 30 minutes. As an added extra, I've then attached my hot hood to my hair dryer to help generate extra heat and help the mask penetrate my hair strands more effectively. You can also use a heated towel if you wish. Okay, so just to quickly show you, I've washed all of the mixture out of my hair now, and I only actually washed it with conditioner. I didn't even have to use any shampoo, which I'm surprised about because I thought because I had honey in the mixture, because that's slightly sticky, I thought it was gonna be quite hard to wash out, but it came out really, really easily. And this is the result, this is my curls. I've got absolutely no product in here. Yeah, I've got a bare slip by the way. Um, I hid it earlier with makeup, but now it's just exposed, so yeah. Um, so anyway, back to my curls. This is what it looks like. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my product in as normal now, and then leave it to dry naturally overnight. And then tomorrow, hopefully, when I wake up, <coughs> excuse me, my hair's gonna feel a lot more moisturized, and it's not gonna be so dry and frizzy, and hopefully it's gonna be a thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Feel free to try it for yourself and let me know how you get on. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe because there's plenty more where this came from. And I'll see you soon. Bye.